Hey everyone, Coyote Peterson here. Well, it's that time again. Time to take another question from the Coyote Pack. Hey everyone, welcome back. I hope that my Coyote Pack is doing awesome this week. So one question that I often get is, Coyote, is there anything that you're actually afraid of? You guys have seen me go up against a grizzly bear, scorpions, snakes, obviously snapping turtles, and there is one animal that I am terrified of, and that is the giant desert centipede. Now I got a great question this past week from Bradley S. Lager, and he says, I've been watching the centipede video, and I wondered, does the centipede bite, and if it does bite you, is it poisonous? That's a great question, Bradley. And first of all, I just want to make it known to everybody that centipedes aren't actually poisonous, they're venomous. Now the difference between venom and poison is that venom needs to be injected, like through a set of fangs, while poison is something that is either ingested into the mouth or absorbed through the skin. Now millipedes, which are similar to centipedes, they're both myriapods, are poisonous, and we're going to tackle that in a future episode of Breaking Trail that we just filmed this past week in Arizona. But let's talk about the thing that really gets under my skin, the giant desert centipede. Now when we worked with the giant desert centipede out in the Sonoran Desert in the first season of Breaking Trail, balancing that creepy crawly on a stick is one of the creepiest things that I have ever done. Um, that thing was running back and forth, bobbing up in the air. I mean, that thing was about this long, which is a huge myriapod. Now, there are centipedes all over the world. Many, 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 many species, hundreds of species of centipedes. But the giant desert centipede is one of the biggest that's here in the United States. Yes, this creature can give you a very, very painful bite. So when we were working with it in season one, I was extra careful to make sure that it didn't get close to my finger. Although at one point, it did almost nip me. Let's take a look at that real quick. One really interesting feature about this centipede is you see how he's got that dark spot on his tail and those two little, oh, ooh, ooh, yeah, that was close. So a lot of people asked, Coyote, can you free handle one of these centipedes? So I put myself to a true test and we did another episode with the giant desert centipede while we were filming for Breaking Trail season two. Now you're gonna have to wait for a few weeks before this one comes out, but here's a sneak peek at some of that footage. Now as you can see, that giant desert centipede was definitely on my arm. And I'm sure you're thinking to yourself, oh man, Coyote, did you let that thing bite you? You let everything else bite you? Well, I guess you're just gonna have to wait for that episode to come out, and then you'll see. So Bradley, to answer your question directly, do giant desert centipedes bite? Yes. Are they venomous? Yes. Is it painful? Extremely. Take my word for it. Thanks for the great question. Coyote Pack, keep writing in every single week and give me some tough questions next week. I've had a lot of questions about snapping turtles and I think everybody's getting dragged out at this point. I'm Coyote Peterson, be brave, stay wild. I'll catch the Coyote Pack next week. One really interesting feature about this centipede is you see how he's got that dark spot on his tail and those two little, oh, oh that's close to my hand, and those two little modified back feet that pretty much looks just like the centipede's head.